morning, Chertsey High. How are we today? Now, theme, theme of the week is forgiveness. What I'll be talking to you about this morning is forgiveness. And there's a quote on the screen. Forgiveness is freedom. Let the past be in the past at last. When you forgive someone, you're not erasing the memory. You choose simply to forgive, forget yourself, forget yourself from any memory, any bitterness, and you're reminding yourself of, of a valuable lesson. What I'd like you to do is have a think about, I'm gonna get you just to pause for a second. I'd like you to have a think about anything you have ever done wrong. Okay, now, that one thing that you have just thought of in the last couple of weeks that you may have done wrong, were you forgiven? The person that you did it to, whether it was a friend or a family member, were you forgiven? Second thing I want you to think about, I was having a conversation with a student as I was writing the assembly, and I asked her, what's the one thing you would never forgive? And she said to me, miss, I could never forgive stabbing. I said, okay, fine, that's very dark, but okay. And I said, well, imagine if I'm cutting onions at home, not that I would ever cut onions or do this, and I turn round as my husband comes from behind to give me a hug, and I by mistakenly stab him. Is he ever gonna forgive me? And she said, oh, that's a good point. So there are some things you will forgive because some things are accidents. It raised an interesting thought with me. There are some things that you just think, I'm never gonna forgive, fine. But you really need to be clear in your mind what those things are. What will you forgive and what will you not forgive? Now, have a look at this video. Okay, one thing I want you to walk away from today's assembly is this week you are going to try and forgive something. I'm not saying you're going to go out and make loads of mistakes so people can forgive you for doing that. I'd like you to mend those friendships, mend those relationships with your teachers, your parents, your friends. Forgive someone for something. Let go of that bitterness. You don't necessarily have to then be best friends with them. It's just letting go of that anger. Put yourself in a better place so you are happier as a person. Right, on that note, have a great week. Thank you very much. Um, right, welcome to... I'm, do you know what? I'm just going to do it. Season one, episode 
four? I think 19, is it? Episode 19. Unofficially yeah. 19, but officially. Season 8, episode 19. Yeah. Um, so, welcome uh, to another podcast from myself and Mr. Paul. Uh, the theme of the week this week is forgiveness, which I think is obviously pretty much fundamental to everything Christian. Um, Mr. Paul, sure is, is. is there anything in the Bible about forgiveness that, that you've read, and how has that impacted uh, or affected your life? Well, there definitely is. Um, because forgiveness is definitely one of the hardest things to do. Um, can I tell you about some, my hardest, one of my hardest times to forgive? I would love to, to, forgive. to do that. So I was in a football match. Um, I think I was about 20, 21, 22 maybe. Long and time ago. it was against a really shabby, rowdy team. <laughs> and we had no referee and I had to be the ref. Because um, I, was, I was like, fine, I'll ref. Um, and it was just a nightmare. Um, and at one point, I had to send their goalie off for two footing someone on the halfway line. Um, Cut and, and then, yeah. yeah, and he just went absolutely ape and was really offensive in my face and wouldn't leave the pitch. Um, and the game was just a nightmare. And it, it, and it took, actually took me. I couldn't get his face out of my out of my head for months. Like I just wanted to yeah. deck him. Um, and you know, he just had one of those faces boys you know I'm sure you know how I feel sometimes um, but I've got over it <laughs> um, and I really because I'm a Christian but I still had that rage inside me um, but I knew that you have to forgive you have to forgive and I'm, I'm a Christian and I believe in forgiveness and the power of forgiveness um, and in the Bible uh, Jesus uses a story of where there's um, a basically like a servant and he oh, I he, love this one yeah he's like embezzling funds like taking money taking things like that from the owner um, of the of the land or the farm or whatever it was and then the owner comes back and he gets busted he's like please please don't don't throw me in jail etc etc and the the owner actually forgives him of all this stuff he's stolen um, and things like that um, and he says fine all right you're forgiven off you go um, and then in sort of very soon, that exact person who got forgiven uh, beat someone up um, because they owe him a very small amount of money. Um, and so obviously the owner comes back and he's in big trouble then because he's obviously just thrown away the importance of that forgiveness. So I think Jesus is obviously highlighting how important forgiveness is and like the fact that he offers us forgiveness for all the things we've yeah. done wrong, he expects us to be able to offer it to other people. You know? Yeah, I think that's like to to be forgiven. You you should be prepared to forgive, um, which I think is a really lovely one. Um, if I could be so bold, one of my favourite examples. Oh, of, go on, go on. Uh, one of my favourite examples of forgiveness is um, is Jesus on the cross. And I use this example. Um, I, in fact, I think I used it in, a, in an assembly I did the other week, um, where Jesus is on the cross and he literally says, and and people are hurling abuse at him. They're spitting at him. Um, you know, they're gambling for his clothes, that, that, and, and he knows what's about to happen. He's been flogged, he's been whipped, he's been wearing a crown of thorns, and he knows what he's facing, um, and he's on the cross and he says, uh, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they're doing. And I think that, for me, just sets, sets the example of that Jesus was literally being murdered and laughed at whilst this was happening, and he just forgives them. Um, and I'm sure, uh, you know, Jesus, as a, as a regular human being, probably really struggled with that in, in what probably seemed like forever. That, that, that phrase, forgive them, they do not know what they're doing. He's forgiving his murderers. And I, I think about some of the conversations that people have and the grudges that people have. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Your, your grudge there with the, with the man who shouted at you for sending him off, like, that's nothing. No, he didn't to go be, off. But, well, all right, he didn't go off. He should have gone off. But like, the grudges and the conversations and the, the negative relationships that people hold on to, um, pale into, into insignificance when Jesus literally forgives his murderers. So for me, like as a head of year, I've had the conversation like, actually if someone says something nasty to you, Jesus can forgive murderers and you could probably forgive someone who's, who's been really unkind to you. Uh, and I know it's hard and I know it's difficult, but if he can do it, a regular human being facing his own death, there's nothing yeah. to stop you doing that. I, and that's, I, I definitely, that is, that's massive, isn't it? But um, the thing we were talking about before as well, which follows on. Can we say off air? What? what the, oh yeah, what when, we were talking yeah, about yeah, off yeah. air. When we were off air, yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> we had this voice. <laughs> <laughs> this, yeah, this um, is. <laughs> but 
Anyway, um, no, so it's, there's a really good like imagery about how, the power of forgiveness where uh, let's say you've done something wrong about to me mm. and I'm raging with you and I'm like, I'm gonna hold on to this for years and years and I'm gonna just stew on it and think about it and hate you um, and, and I might never see you again and that's not gonna affect you at all. <laughs> but it's me just, it's ruining, it could be ruining my life. Yeah. So like, I've heard people say it's the equivalent of um, drinking poison and hoping the other person is going to be harmed yeah. by it. And that seems to be what unforgiveness is like. Yeah. Whereas people, if you can forgive people, you can kind of cut that, cut the cord yeah. uh, of being attached to that problem in the same way. It's like, like we were talking about off air as well, that um, we were, <laughs> sounds so lame. Um, but there's, there's a really good case study of, of a woman called Dee Walker whose son was killed sort of on a racially aggravated incident for, for literally no reason um and everyone expected her to be really angry and, she, and she's she's a massive christian as well and she was like well i've already i'm already carrying grief and sorrow and sadness why on earth do it you know if i had a bag why on earth would i pack like anger and revenge and, and hateful feelings good way to think about it. just just leave it and actually everything else you know just everything becomes so much lighter. Um, Ms. Velmi is probably going to hate us because we've already been talking for so many minutes, but um, a brief reflection on forgiveness. Thanks, guys, for tuning in today. Um, great job listening. Well, great job, great thank job. You. Um, thank you. Great, I, I look forward to it. Well, you and I have to give me loads of feedback on it. <laughs> in, well, in, yeah, last lesson. I feel like it was wicked, so my school's a bit rubbish. No. Um, thanks, guys, for listening to our Godcast. Amen. Love it.